But I want to touch on something that you just said. I know you were teaching on the Lower East Side when you got that role that we all, I mean, come on, Cooley High, it, it, it is an iconic film in our community. We grew up to that movie. We love that movie. Everybody know Garrett Morris in that movie. But it mirrored your life. Didn't you also teach in the prison system? Um, if I got yes, it right, I you preach upstate New York and Cactus yes, Jack while and, I was, I, and um, Yes, Palm while Street? I was teaching, but let me explain this something. My degree was in music, period, not in music education. New York University in 1968 had this special program where if you could go to uh, them school for like six months, they would give you a teacher's license, which is what I did. So I got a teacher's license, which then qualified me to teach on the Lower East Side. And while I was there, there was this program which also sent teachers to prison to teach. So I was sent to um, a play, um, upstate New York has a prison called um, Comstock. It's yeah. Kaksaki. Comstock. Com Kaksaki. No, Comstock. Comstock. Com but there's Kaksaki. also one called Kaksaki, which is for um, teenagers, yep. right? Comstock is for murderers, yep. right? And um, Great Meadows Correctional Facility is the proper name, but it's called Comstock as that's the uh, nickname, right? So I was teaching music and drama to those murderers. <laughs> and we did a play while I was there. I asked, I said, do any of you guys have any poems you've written? And they, they had poems they had written. So I compiled, because I have, had been in um, a Melvin, Pe Melvin Brown Peoples play, which was a compilation of poems. So I said, hey, why don't I do that in prison? So we, in fact, did a whole two-hour show with those prisoners' poems, which was revered by the Albany Gazette, right? And mind you, teaching in prison is not something, if you're like me, you can really do for a long time, because if you're teaching in prison, you are in prison. So when the guard is taking you yes. to the to the auditorium, you walk a few paces, he opens another uh, metal door, and then he, and that that sound they have in Law and Order, that, mm -hmm. you, you hear true. that sound all the way to the auditorium. And there's always with a guard in the auditorium as I'm doing, uh, do, I try to do the play. And I remember something funny because the guys in front, I was giving them to do the play, but all the time, way in the back, there was another group sitting way on the left in the back. So I couldn't understand why they weren't joining, right? So one time, I made a mistake of going to the back. And as I approached him, I realized what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with the wives, the wives of the guys in front. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> and I, I got closer and I said, oh, I see it. I turned around and went the back, you know. But yeah, yeah, that was it. And the thing is, um, while I was there, I acquired two guys who were my enforcers. They told me, they said, Mr. Morris, you need enforcers. Because even though the guard was there, uh, they were aware of the fact that that didn't matter unless I had someone that was respected by the other guys who was saying, hey, don't fuck with it. So the other guy, uh, his name was Bama. He was built like Mike Tyson. And he had no teeth, right? And this guy, you could, he, uh, he, better, you could see he could take out the house. Him and another tall guy were my enforcer for the year that I was there. And the year stretched out to be a year and a half because you do for two months and you rest for like a month, man. Come back for another two months, rest for, you know, that's how I did it. Okay. Did, did, did you ever bump into any yes. of those guys once you yeah. grew up? As a matter of fact, really? um, not before Saturday Night, before Saturday Night Live. Uh, I was in Brooklyn one time 
waiting for a cab or something like that. And the guy, Mr. Morris, Mr. Morris. He said, yeah, I was in the joint. You taught me I was in the joint, right? Yeah. <laughs> and he also told me, unfortunately, that Bama had been found dead in the lobby of uh, an apartment building. Yeah. So somebody got oh, to him. Oh, man. Yeah. But he was a piece of man. Oh, yeah, man. He sorry, man. man. Yeah. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.